hello everyone so today i will explain you in this video how to find ds ds means degree of statical indeterminacy statical indeterminacy indeterminacy now you see we have to understand how to find the degree of statical indeterminacy of the structure before that we will see what is the determinate structure and what is the indeterminate structure okay so first i will explain you determinate structure determinate structure which means that <coughs> the number of unknowns are equal to the number of equations of equilibrium so in this simple problem you see how many unknowns we have in the form of reactions here we have two unknowns that we are required to calculate two reactions at hinge support and one reaction at roller support so the unknowns are 3 in number okay and to solve this three unknowns we have three equations of equilibrium namely summation of f of x all the forces in horizontal direction must be equated to zero summation of f of y all the forces in y direction or vertical direction must be equ equated to zero and moment about any point is equal to zero okay so three unknown can uh, we can easily solve by using three equations of equilibrium so the structure the structure in which the unknowns can be solved by just using equations of equilibrium such type of structures are called as determinate structures you can also define that <coughs> structure can be analyzed by just using equations of equilibrium analysis means we need to find shear force and bending moment okay so you can analyze by just using equations of equilibrium means uh, here i explained you we can find the reactions only three reactions and this three reactions we can find using equations of equilibrium once you know the reaction you can find shear force and you can also find bending moments okay so here we can say that a structure can be analyzed just using equations of equilibrium okay now we will talk about indeterminate structure indeterminate structure okay so indeterminate structure i will just give you a simple example it will suffice here i have two hinge support at the end so here i have two reactions just to understand it's a simple example here also i have two reactions so the number of reactions are four in numbers and the equations of equilibrium are 3 okay so the this four unknowns cannot be solved by using equations of equilibrium okay so now i will define you the general formula of ds ds is known as degree of statical indeterminacy indeterminacy the very general formula is total number of unknowns total number of unknowns minus total number of equations of equilibrium this is a very general formula by which we can derive ds for simple pin jointed frame 
ds for rigid jointed frame and ds for hybrid structures okay so here you see total number of unknowns are 3 in number minus total number of equations of equilibrium number 3 so ds for this structure is 0 so when the degree of statical indeterminacy is 0 it means that the structure is determinate structure in this case number of unknown total number of unknowns is are 4 in number and equations of equilibrium are 3 in number so the ds for this type of structure is 1 I okay so ds for this structure is 1 so degree of indeterminacy is of 1 degree okay it may be 2 it may be 3 it may be 4 depending upon the unknowns in the structure okay so i will take simple example here <coughs> cantilever beam okay and here propped cantilever So, ds, how many unknowns we have here? Horizontal reaction, vertical reaction, and a moment at fixed support. So, ds will be 3 unknowns and 3 number of equations of equilibrium. So, ds will be 0. Here, 3 unknowns at fixed support and a troller, only 1 unknowns. So, ds for this structure will be 1. Again, you see when you have fixed support, a fixed beam, sorry, fixed beam, fixed beam. So, ds will be you see how many reactions we have 3 here and 3 here. Okay, so number of unknowns are 6 in number minus number of equations of equilibrium. So, 6 minus 3 equals to 3. Okay. So from the value of ds, we can also judge whether the structure is unstable, stable or overstable. We just have to reflect over the value of ds and from the value of ds, we can judge the stability of the structure whether the structure is unstable or just stable or just rigid or overstable. I will give example here. If the value of ds is negative, if the value of ds is negative, then the structure is termed as unstable. <coughs> if the value of ds is 0, if the value of ds is 0 then the structure is termed as stable it is just stable and if the value of ds is more than 1 more than 0 sorry more than 0 it may be 1 2 3 4 5 okay depending upon the number it can be termed as overstable or over rigid i will give example here i will take a a beam which is supported on two rollers okay and when you find the ds degree of static indeterminacy for this structure you see here how many unknowns we have we have only two num unknowns are two in number so two unknown minus minus uh, number of equations of equilibrium are three in numbers so ds is minus one now you see this minus 1 it's a negative this minus 1 indicates that the given structure is unstable okay now you see how it is unstable we also have to understand practically the nature of unstability if you apply some vertical force it will not sink down because vertical reactions is there to resist the the vertical force but when you apply the horizontal force there is no horizontal reaction so this structure will move with the application of the horizontal force 
it may move in the left direction it may move in the right direction we can take simple example of a bus or any vehicle any vehicle when the force is applied a horizontal force is applied then it moves okay so we do not want such type of structure which move horizontally okay so when the ds is minus 1 it is zero to make it stable to make it stable just stable we have to provide hinge support here and here we can provide roller support now when you apply horizontal force horizontal force a horizontal reaction is developed at the hinge support so this structure will not move in the horizontal direction when horizontal force is applied whereas this structure will move in the horizontal direction when horizontal force is applied because this structure is unstable in horizontal direction and this this structure is just stable in vertical direction as well as in horizontal direction when you see ds for this structure is zero i told you when when the ds value is zero is equals to zero then you can say that the structure is stable or just rigid you see example of a cantilever beam similarly here uh this structure is also just stable okay because when you calculate ds you will get zero to make it over stable for example if you draw the deflected shape of the cantilever beam so you see uh, this cantilever beam is getting deflected here you you do not have any deflection okay but here you have deflection in vertical direction you also have rotation you also have rotation but when you provide a propped propped cantilever if you see when you provide prop here there is no vertical deflection okay so it will be like this there is no vertical deflection and this point is now here it is not not deflected okay so what we are doing here we are making the structure over stable here it is just stable and here it will be the stability will be uh, can say over stable over stable the structure is over stable or the structure is over rigid so when you find ds number of reactions are 3 here 1 here 4 in number 4 minus 3 equals to 1 so in this way you can decide the stability of the structure whether the structure is unstable stable or over stable by just reflecting over the value of ds thank you we will continue in the next video